Hello friends, welcome to Let's Learn. Today let's discuss an interesting topic and my favorite resume writing. So what is a resume? Before I tell you that, I want you to learn the way to pronounce resume. Yes, it is resume, not resume. Resume is a French word which means summary. But what is a summary? Summary means a brief description. Let's make sense now. Resume is a brief introduction about a candidate. In fact, resume is a candidate's first action towards recruitment process. Now before we proceed, we need to be clear about something. What is a CV? What is a resume? And how are they different? Though they represent similar data, there are quite a few differences. The first one is a page limit and the next one is about information. About page limit. There is no limit for the number of pages in a CV, whereas for a resume, it can have a maximum of two pages. Regarding the information, in a CV, you never really modify an information and you just keep adding more information to it, means it is always consistent. Whereas a resume, you modify the information according to the job you apply, which means the information in a resume is inconsistent. So what are the skills required or what do they exactly look for in a resume? The first skill is the way you prioritize information. Resume is a brief introduction which means you cannot include every possible information about yourself. There is a list which can be included, there is a list which cannot be included. Knowing this difference and prioritizing the right information in the best possible way, that is the first skill we look for in a resume. And the second skill is presentation skill. Have you ever been told that a language is not about what you know, but it's all about how you present it? The same thing applies for resume building as well. Resume is not about what information you provide. It's all about how you present the required information. Have a look at these two resumes. Now tell me which one would appeal better? Don't you think presentation matters? Now let's look into the types of resume. There are different types of resume, but there are three resume formats which are commonly preferred. They are chronological, functional and combinational. Chronological resume. The word chronology means time sequence and chronological resume focuses on your recent achievements, job positions, etc. It's preferred by fresh graduates. And the next one is a functional resume. Functional resume focuses on skills and experience. It is used by industry experts, people with career shift or a career gap. The last one is a combinational resume. Yes, you guessed it right. A combinational resume is a combination of chronological and functional resume and brings out the best from both the formats. It takes time to build but is most effective. It all looks good but is there a purpose for a resume? Of course there is. Resume plays a vital role in your interviews. In fact, resume is a first line of communication between you and your company. So it is safe to say your interview process itself starts with a resume. Now that you know the purpose, it's time for you to know the role of a resume in an interview as well. Resume has two roles to play. One, outside an interview hall and two, inside an interview hall. You know that candidates are shortlisted based on the resume, which means resume is your ticket inside an interview hall. Yes, resume is like an entry ticket for you to get into an interview hall. Now. What happens after getting inside an interview hall? Your resume becomes a question paper. Isn't that interesting? Yes. I remember my students asking me, what do they exactly ask in an interview? I hope you have the same question as well. My answer is, you set your own question paper for an interview and resume is that question paper. If you ask me, 
Why should I continue watching this video? Why should I learn more about resume building? My answer is quite simple. Since you are setting your own question paper, I don't want you to set an out of syllabus question. So continue watching, continue learning. Thank you for watching this video. Keep supporting us. Do like, share and subscribe.